five, four. It's setting up the Facebook meeting. You all, I'm going to mute my phone because my Kayla is in here with me on a call. So I'm going to mute it for just a minute until she's done. You all, Kayla is at being asked to uh, be, be the facilitator for this student leadership meeting next uh, in a couple of weeks. So we're, we're amazed at what God is doing in her in the sixth grade, but we're proud of her. Yeah, she's amazing. She is, um, she's an amazing young woman, young lady. Can you just imagine? Oh my God. Mm. No, I'm still trying to hold on to daddy's little girl, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, but that was when you picked her up and twir twirled her around a couple of Sunday when it was your birthday a little bit ago. You, That's over with. That's done. Oh, no. You won't be doing that no more. That's over. <laughs> my dad gets out. I'm doing it. So. <laughs> right. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hi, sister. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hey, good evening. Hi. I'm going to get us started because it's already live on Facebook. So good evening, everyone. Um, those that are in the Zoom room and that are watching virtually on Facebook, uh, we pray that you've had a good week of far. Oh. Uh, we have a dog in the house. Even the dog will get saved on tonight. <laughs> you will, Willie. That's just what we say, right? right? So um, let's pray. God, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for all that you've done for us. Um, God, we thank you for keeping us from dangers that... We saw and we didn't see, God. We just thank you for keeping your hand on us and on this ministry. God, we pray that you go ahead of us tonight, and we pray that something be said um, that could uh, encourage someone and build them up in the faith. And we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen, Amen. okay. So, Amen. Uh, so uh, a little bit of um, things by way of housekeeping. This is first Sunday. Um, those that are uh, that will be in the house with us, communion will be served. Um, for those that I want to do it virtually. We will walk you through it. We're asking that you get your um, your uh, your uh, your bread and your and uh, your bread and your juice together. Um, ask that you pray over it, consecrate it, and then we'll go through it together. And Elijah. and sometimes I'm sorry, Elijah. Are, hey, you got to mute that. I'm sorry. Okay. And sometimes people come by the church after <laughs> they don't come to the service, and the elders. Or one of the deacons are outside to serve them for you. And so it is, we do have those possibilities, all right? Um, we're going to get right into the word tonight. I don't know. Is there any other announcement that I'm missing? Um, Pastor, anything? Unfortunately, sir, I didn't hear the announcements that you made because I was speaking with my Kayla. Uh, so uh, please forgive me. So, Pastor, <laughs> church, please. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's going to get you. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. If anything comes up, what I'll do is I'll uh, come back around and recap it at the end. But on tonight, we're, right. continuing, we're continuing our Bible study series. And I'm uh, very excited because, first of all, this series has continually taught us how to survive and thrive in times of adversity and difficulties. Uh, we've been blessed every week, starting from week one, and I believe we're about seven weeks in. And secondly, I'm elated and I'm excited because our own Elder Regina Barron will be here. We will be hearing from her uh, for the first time. And so, oh, we're, welcome. Uh, welcome. We are great. Thank you. Here. Thank you. And um, we're going to turn it over to you right now and uh, um, let God have His way. And let's have let's have a good time tonight, Elder. Well, God bless you all. Hi, family. I'm so grateful and thank you, uh, Bishop and Pastor and Elder Sandy for giving me this opportunity, this platform, whenever um, I have the opportunity to share God's goodness and his grace. I'm just so excited about doing that. So I want to just thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, I was just... Uh, really reading over I've been reading over it for so many times and then I just read it today and it got something different that's how the word is you'll read it one day and then when you read it again it's something totally different but tonight our bible study is going to be coming from Mark um fifth chapter one through twenty um I think that's the set in the new new testament the second gospel at Matthew Mark the second one and um 
the topic or the yeah the topic is restoration within ruin so um we could just go ahead and jump right in um let's just go ahead and read that and we thank god um for the word on tonight and I'll be reading um, those scriptures from the New Living Translation, and I have it parallel with the Amplified Bible Classic. Um, so beginning with five and one. So they arrived at the other side of the lake in the region of Gerasenes. Gerasenes. When Jesus climbed out of the boat, a man possessed by an evil spirit came out from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the burial caves and could no longer be restrained, even with a chain. For whenever he was put into chains and shackles, as he often was, he snapped the chains from his wrists and smashed the shackles. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Day and night, he wandered among the burial caves and in the hills, howling and cutting himself with sharp stones. <laughs> When Jesus was still some distance away, the man saw him, ran to meet him, and bowed low before him. With a shriek, or shriek, he screamed, Why are you interfering with me, Jesus, son of, of the Most High God? In the name of God, I beg you, don't torture me. For Jesus had already said to the spirit, Come out of man, you evil spirit. Then Jesus demanded, what is your name? And he replied, my name is Legion because there are many of us inside this man. Then the evil spirits begged him again and again not to send them to some distant place. There happened to be a large herd of pigs feeding the hillside nearby. Send us into those pigs, the spirits begged. Let us enter them. So Jesus gave permission, gave them permission. The evil spirits came out the man and entered the pigs, and the entire herd, about 2,000 pigs, plunged down the steep hillside into the lake and drowned in the water. The herdsmen fled to the nearby town and the surrounding countryside, spreading the news as they ran. People rushed out to see what happened. A crowd soon gathered around Jesus, and they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons. He was sitting there fully clothed and perfectly sane, and they were all afraid. Then those who had seen what happened told the others about the demon-possessed man and the pigs. And the crowd began pleading to Jesus to go away and leave them alone. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon possessed begged to go with him. But Jesus said, no, go home to your family and tell them everything the Lord has done for you and how merciful he has been. So the man started off to visit the 10 towns of that region to proclaim, to begin to proclaim the great things that Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed at what he told them. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Hallelujah. This scripture was just so um, intense. When I read it the first time, I got a total different understanding of what was going on. And then I had to search uh, within the scripture, and then my topic, restoration. And restoration is the act of restoring or reviving or reestablishment, return to a former condition, place, or position. So let me just start right there with the re restoration. So in the beginning, it said that uh, they arrived at the other side of the lake. That was Jesus and his disciples. And, you know, it went on to say that, uh, you know, Jesus had traveled to this land. And what was so amazing is the man knew who Jesus was. Or did uh -huh. the demons know who Jesus was? Because, you know, the demons know stuff, too. So then it goes on uh, to say that, you know, he, 
came down and he wanted he wanted to be freed up. And how I put this to to life, how I brought this to life within myself. We have so many things that tie us down, bottle us down, situations. Um, and we want to be overcomers. We don't want a lot of these forces and evil things to be within us, but they are. And just like this man, he wanted to be freed of that demon. He didn't want that demon. And that's why he, when he saw Jesus, the word of God said that he jumped out to meet him. And when I was reading this, it was talking about this man who was so bound, how he would be screaming and hollering and had all this strength and all this weight up on him that he was so strong that he could snap the chain. That's a heavy weight. That's, that's some strength. The shackles, they called it, in, in one of the words, passages that I, were, I read, the words used, uh, he could snap that. That's how strong he was. Even in today, we have issues in our lives that are just like how this man was demon possessed. We have all kind of addictions, alcoholism. You know, we have, we have, we eat too much. Sometimes that mouth, we talk too much. We have mm -hmm. things in our lives that we need to be freed up from. And only Jesus is the one that can free us up. Isn't it good to know that we can be free from these situations? Mm -hmm. That there yes. is restoration? I am so blessed. When I read this, I just got a whole newness of mm -hmm. the word that it is nothing in my life that I am going through so much that Jesus cannot fix it for me. He can restore. He can renew. He can rebuild. I have been so sick. And God, look at me right now. I couldn't even do this a few days ago. That's restoration, right? Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Amen. Hallelujah, God. Mm -hmm. That he can pick me up, God. I can preach this word up tonight. Oh, my God. That somebody's going to know that there is a way out. There's nothing going on in your life. God is fair and just. And he'll always give us a way of escape. I thank you, God, for your mm. word. Oh, Praise you, God. The word of you got some stuff that you need to shake off. There's some stuff in your life that you need to be restored. I know everybody has something. Oh, let me get back. Oh, God, I thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Oh, thank you, God. Yeah, thank you. This man was hollering and screaming like he was crazy. But we get like that. But isn't it amazing after we have tried everything that we know how to do to fix it, when we give it to Jesus, at that point of contact when we can't go no more. When I lay in the bed, it's nothing else I can do. I can't take another medication. I don't mm. want to go to a hospital. But when I called upon the name of Jesus, when he touched my body Sunday night and I was able to get out of that bed, isn't it amazing at that point when we are so, if it's a drug addiction, when the Lord touch your mind, take the taste out of your mouth and the thought out of your mouth and free up the space in your heart that I'm not going to use no more. Isn't that Amen. a wonderful Amen. feeling in your life when you got a savior that knows that, oh God, you know that that savior got me. When you know that you're being held by the, by the hand of the Lord. When he got you, because we try all kind of stuff. We get the patches. We don't want to smoke. We chew the gum. We do. And don't you know that God, the Lord has fixed these things already for us? All we have to do is ask him. But sometimes we don't even know that. There's some people out there that don't even know that Jesus can fix it for us. They don't even know that he is the way. They don't even know that my Savior can do anything but fail. And I'm here tonight to tell you yeah. that he can do anything. This man <laughs> was in a graveyard. Who in their right mind is in a graveyard hollering and screaming? That has to be somebody that's demon possessed. Mm -hmm. And then when he went to meet Jesus, Jesus asked him, what is your name? And he said, Legion. There are many of us. Oh, my God. We got many things. We got many demonic things going on. You know, we can be driving on the freeway, 
and mm. somebody will jump right in front of us. Now, I don't know what kind of driving record you have or where you drive, but we ain't saying thank you, Jesus. We just <laughs> ain't saying. <laughs> just Tell the truth. You, you're not doing that. That's not, right. that's not, not Bishop, the people in the other church, down the way, they're doing that. But the people in Word of Life, you are not saying, oh, thank you, Jesus, for cutting me off. Thank you that I had to hit my brake. And thank you that my coffee is all over the car. We're not doing that. That's not what we're doing. Oh, no. When we stump our toe in the middle of the night, the words that are coming out of my mouth is not, oh, thank you, Jesus. I just stump. It's not. It's not. It's not. You know it's not. You know, you know that it's not. That's not the word. But I just thank God. This man was in a, in a tomb in the graveyard in there so demon possessed bottled up with all these things all these he said there are many of us yeah. many of us and you know we have many situations you know this guy it, it, this guy he wanted to be freed up you know it, he ran to meet jesus he bowed down to meet jesus he he knew he had to have mustard seed faith he had to know that jesus could fix it for him he had to know that Jesus could fix it for him. And I just thank God for that. You know, there is nothing in our lives that is too hard for our Lord and Savior to fix for us. You know, I was just thinking of going back in my life, some of the things that I did that was not pleasing to God. You'll go in the courtroom and you know that you're supposed to get time. You'll be standing before the judge and you already know what you did because you did it. You did it. You know that you did it and God knows. And you will be praying or your, your mother will be praying for you or your pastor, your bishop. And God is able to turn that situation just around for you. And then when you hear the words that come out of the judge mouth, you are just like, oh my, this had to be God. Nobody could do this but God. When you have yes, a report yes. at the doctor, all these reports that I had, unfavorable, unfavorable, un what kind of word is that? Unfavorable. But when we got on our knees and we prayed to God and did those tests again, I thank you, God, all is well. They didn't see nothing. That's what I'm talking about, how you can be freed up on a situation within yourself. You know, the Lord, he still heals. Jesus, he still heals us. He still delivers us. Mm -hmm. You know, all we have to do is just ask him. We are in unclean state sometimes. Just, you know, just by everyday things, puts us in an unclean space, an unclean spirit. And we can always know that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, can go ahead and fix it for us, restore for us, renew for us. This man had many demons inside of him, many. And he begged Jesus. He begged Jesus. And what I found surprising was when he begged Jesus, he didn't want to leave from where he was. The Bible said that he didn't want to, the, the demons did not want to be sent away. They didn't want to go to a distant place. And a lot of times with us, like, we don't want to go out of our comfort zone to get into the things. Like, we just want to be blessed right now. Like we don't, you know, sometimes you have to be positioned. You have to be in the right place. You have to be positioned for, to be blessed. And then you have to have the mind of Christ. You have to open your heart and you have to let Jesus in to begin this new work, to rearrange yes. some things, to change some things in your life. So that you can be made new, so that you can go like it says in re in the uh, restoration. You can go back to a former condition. You can go back to a former place or uh, be restored. 
We have to get our mind right. We have to shake off some stuff. We have, we just, it's some things that we have to do to line up with what Jesus has for us. I just thank God that he is always there for me. I just thank God that I know that it's nothing that's too hard. And, and you know, a lot of times when we get our backs up against the wall, sometimes, like I remember Reverend Cleveland told us one time, he said, I was so sick, I forgot to pray. Sometimes you are in such a way, we forget, oh, we got Jesus. He can work it out if you let him. He can take this and that. He can take all of it and he can fix it for us. And I'm just so glad that we have him. And you know, then it went on to talk about in um, 13, five and 13, that Jesus prompt gave them the permission to come out of the man, the demons, to come out of the, the evil spirit, to come out of them and enter into the pig. And then the pigs plunged into the lake and they were drowned. And then what happened, people were looking at this, the, the herdsmen, the ones that were taking care of these pigs and these swine. And they, they seen what happened and they ran it said it ran to, they said it ran to the town and the surrounding countryside, spreading the news as they ran. And that's what we should do. When the Lord delivers us and sets us free and risk, you know, restores us, we need to tell somebody so that they can know if he did it for me, <laughs> hallelujah, he can do it for you. Same yeah. God right now, Amen. same God back then, the same mm -hmm. God right now. He healed my body, he can heal your body. And we need to tell, we need to tell of his goodness. And uh, I was blessed just to, just to see that these people ran and told other people. And it was just like, and, and so on and so on. And they went to the countryside, you know, they, the surrounding city telling you know, what had happened. And then they came and some of them came to where Jesus was with this man. And it's not anything like seeing the fruition of, of anything how it comes, comes to fruition. Like, you see me today. This is a blessing to see me up and talking. And, and I couldn't do this. This is a blessing to be on here on Facebook and, and, and with my Word of Life family. This is a blessing. And, and I was just so blessed when I read that. I said, see, that's what, that's what happened. When they ran back where Jesus and the man was, it said he was sitting there fully clothed and perfectly sane. Hallelujah. That's a blessing. That is a blessing. They came to see and they saw that for themselves, how Jesus freed him up of all those demons. And that was just, I, I just... I just love that part. And then it said that um, as Jesus was getting into the boat, the man that was demon possessed, he wanted to go with Jesus. He's like, wait a minute, you have freed me up of these demons. I want to go with you. I want to go with you. But Jesus said, no, go home to your family and tell them everything the Lord has done for you. you. And how merciful, hallelujah, <laughs> how merciful mm. he has been. And that's what we should do. Tell everybody how good, when he blesses us and when he sets us free and when he does these supernatural blessings, we need to just spread it, go everywhere, just tell them. Even if they don't believe them, tell them that he is still an able God. And then it said that the man started off to visit the 10 towns of that region and began to proclaim the great things that Jesus had done for him. And everyone mm -hmm. was amazed at what he told. They were totally amazed. And that's what happens with our testimonies. When we tell people our testimonies, people are so amazed. And like with me, when people tell me their testimonies, I just start praying and thanking God that you that you 
saved them, Lord, that you restored them, Lord, that you healed their bodies, Lord. Yeah. I'm just so grateful. That way he said that if I, if I be lifted up on the earth, will draw all men unto me. Yes. We got to get out there, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We got to tell people about our Savior, hallelujah. We got to tell them so that we can all be one big nation under God. Oh, thank you, God. So that we can all know how good and how great and how merciful, oh, that God is. The things that he will do for us restoration within the ruins even though we're in a bad place it is good to know that he can restore us yes. no, no matter it we're is. in a bad place he can still restore us and yeah. i was so just so blessed every time i read these scriptures and i got a whole new i was like oh okay Oh, you know, I kept reading and reading. And when I was just thinking on that man, how it must have felt when he was walking, who walks in a graveyard? Who lives in a, who does that? That right. is, you know, and, and, and I just had, I was just thanking God. And sometimes we are sick in our minds and we don't even know that we're sick in our minds. But it is so glad that Jesus knows us. He made us and he knows all about us. I'm so glad that he's there when we need him. I'm just so glad that we have somebody on our side. Somebody that, oh my God, we can talk to. Somebody that can, oh my God, do anything for us. Anything. Mm -hmm. We're in this pandemic. I have not, I have food. I have clothes. Again, Bishop, yes. Bishop preaches yes. this all the time. Yes. Okay, so we're in a pandemic. When he says, so we're in a pandemic. You know, mm -hmm. and this is not a death sentence to everybody. Look yes. at what he's done within your household. Yes. 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 On. You have food. You have your health. You have your strength. Yes. And this is in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Some of us, they won't tell the truth, but we have more now than we had before the pandemic. That's right. Oh, That's right. Say that. Say yeah. that. Yes. We, some yeah. of us, they won't tell it, but some of us have more now because he's yeah. taught us some things in this pandemic. Oh. How it's, we got, we don't yes. be wasteful. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, you, because we, when you, I look back at being wasteful and like, oh, just go to McDonald's, just order pizza. You know, right. when you have food in the house, cook. You need to cook some food. Yeah. You know, oh, let's yeah. go shop. <laughs> you don't have to stop. Why are you going? You already have the clothing that you need. He has taught me yes. so much in the in the matter of finances. And I should be grateful for everything that I have right now. This is and we're in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. We're in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful that. We have never been without, but everything is strategic with God. You got you got to make the right decisions and That's the right. right choices. You got to think the right way. You got to hear. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You got to hear Him. Thank you, Lord, when He's talking to you. You got to take that in the right way. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, because we hear and then we don't hear, and we got to hear the things that the Lord is telling us to do. Stop being wasteful, Regina. You know, put the food up. Don't be the food out. What, what? I'm not the only one to do that. No, no, no. I'm not. Amen. I'm not. You know, stop being wasteful. You know, and, and in this pandemic, it has really changed my, well, it changed all of our lives. But it has, it has really fine-tuned Regina. I have a whole new way of looking at life, mm. looking at my life, mm. being thankful mm. for everything that he has restored in the barren household, mm. things that were broke mm. down. You know, sometimes, ladies, we, we just pop off. We, well, I, okay, I'm going to say, Regina, you pop. Okay, thank you. I know I do. You pop off. Mm. I, okay, I know. Mm. I know. 
don't know about my word of life, but Regina, you pop Amen. off too much with Ooh. your husband. In this pandemic, mm -hmm. in this pandemic, we all in this house together. You can't be doing all that. Yeah. You have to let love abide in here. It's only so many rooms you can go to. And then you got to start all over again. In the circle. When God restores your marriage, I thank you. Mm. Mm. I know I've been playing around a little bit, but I thank you, Lord, for restoring my marriage. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. thank you know, you. thank you. Mm -hmm. The truth be told, I, David and I, we we didn't have a what we have now is wonderful. I love my King. He is he is made for me. He's designed for Regina, and Regina is designed for David. And I love my husband, but I wasn't always that way. And God had to restore within me. A lot of things that I knew a long time ago. And then, you know, sometimes when you you in the valley, you just keep going and going and going. You you just keep on doing the things that you know is not right. You know it's not right. But when God gets a hold of your attitude and your heart and he shows you the these things, and then it's called blessing when he blesses you out of the ruin. Mm -hmm. out of the ruin it, within the ruin and out of the ruin we have to be so careful with that restoration we have to honor that restoration mm -hmm. we have to thank him for restoring us we have to thank mm -hmm. him for the things and then we got it you know it's always important to share it and that's what i like to share with with everyone with my sisters mm -hmm. and my brothers that how the lord is able to raise us up mm -hmm. He's able to restore all of anything that we're in. He's able to do it because he's God, he's God all by himself. Amen. And I just, I just love that the, the word, just restoration. That means something good is about to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, that some, something good, it's an act. Amen. Something good, Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Something mm. good. It's gonna happen to you. Praise mm -hmm. God. Yeah, and I, I just when I when I Elder Sandy, I thank you for picking me for this scripture because when I saw <laughs> restoration, I said, Oh, thank you, Jesus. I have a lot to say about being restored, renewed, and rebuilt. Oh, thank you for fine-tuning this this heart of mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Turning me to my former condition my former place my former position oh thank you lord that you did it did it for me i thank you and he'll do it for each and every one of you you gotta yes, go through yeah. some stuff like this man he had to be walking in this grave screaming and hollering breaking the shackles and then they even said he took the stones and cut himself you know mm. we do stuff to ourselves mm. we do stuff to ourselves yes. that hurt us we do things to our everybody in the world is not doing us. We do stuff to our own self. Amen. Yeah. I know. Okay, yeah. overeating, yeah. overeating, Regina, and then you want to cry when you have high blood pressure, hypertension, and uh, Amen. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's so good to know that God can even restore that. You eat the right way. Do do Amen. your exercises and do the things that that yeah. you are supposed to do and. That pressure will come right on down. Just and it's called yeah. restoration, restoring us to where we were. And I just, oh, I thank God being a God that restores, mm -hmm. renews, mm -hmm. and renews. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad about it tonight? We're yeah. Yes. 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 Excited. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. That means that you're no longer bound. You're no longer bound in what you were in. You freed up to go and tell uh, you, oh, nothing but God. Nothing but yep. God. Nobody yeah. but you can do it for us. I love you all on tonight. Thank, oh, thank you. you. So much. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. I love you all. God love bless you. Love you too. Love you. Love you. God Wonderful you. lesson. Amen. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Thank Excellent. you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.
has been known as hurricane. I think Elder Regina is tornado. Uh, <laughs> yes. He <laughs> hit 60 miles an hour quickly. My God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go through here and read some of the comments. Uh, just, uh, and if you all have any questions or comments, please, while I'm pulling them up, please, by all means. Let's see here. Uh, all right. Um, well, the Tinker says, I love that the man got delivered, <laughs> but all the pigs got wasted. He's a, he loves barbecue. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Joanne Joanne says that uh, we have to come out of the graveyard. Amen. We have to. Amen. I I think I think to show you how how the enemy is not playing with us. Those pigs are minding their own business. Hmm. Right. Minding their own business. Suicide. So that shows you that we really can't play with the enemy because he's looking to take our lives. So, uh, uh, Miss Taisa says, "I love you, Mom." Uh, she mm-hmm. she was watching the whole time, <laughs> so your daughter was watching. Baby. Sister Faye says, "Wonderful lesson. Thank you for blessing us." Mm-hmm. And, uh, I don't think I can come back anymore. Anyone have any any other comments? Any questions? Anything? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. It was just beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. want to say I love the passion. I love how you taught. Yes. It yeah, was, it was, it, it revives us. It restores us. So God thank you. you. Thank you very much. I love you. I love you too. So it's only, only, only a person who's been saved from a graveyard can preach that kind of passion. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, God. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's all I can say to that. You can know mm. the power behind our words just based mm. off, of, just listen to the way she phrases things. You can know that God brought her out of something. And yes. So that, this is why we can't be afraid to tell our testimonies. Yes, sir. The power there. Mm-hmm. If you don't know, if you don't have to know every scripture, if you can just share your testimony, share what he brought you out of, that's powerful enough right there. So that, mm-hmm. that touched me. That, that, that touched me. Um, <laughs> me too. Yeah. Man, yes. Kayla, you have anything yeah. to say since you're the only uh, one that's under the age of 21? No. No? <laughs> Okay. All right. So that's it. Listen, I put, um, I posted up there for those that are watching. Um, we're not in the house physically, obviously. So you can still give. I put all the links up. I uh, made sure that that's there. And then do me a favor, as usual, share these Bible studies. You never know who on your friend list just may need to hear from the Lord. Okay. And just okay. let me know about you, wherever you were, however, whatever we were doing. Now we have this great tool of social media to be able to share the gospel. Uh, to people, we, we, if we're honest, we all have friends that live out of this region, right? So imagine that. Yes. Share the word. Yes. Don't live in this region. And the same way it touched us, it can touch them. Let's not be stingy. Let's share what we've received from God to other people. Yes. Amen. 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 Pastor, you want to pray us out of here? Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. I'm sorry. Can we just, uh, again, praise God for Elder Regina. This is her first time. Yes. Uh, yes. Deacon Bobby approves. That's all that matters after God. All right, Let, let's pray. Let's pray, everyone. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you on tonight. We give you praise, honor, and glory, Father God. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come together, Father God, to learn of your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for Elder Regina coming to just bring the word on tonight, Father God. Lord, this was her first time, Lord, and she was so, so, so passionate about your word, Father God, that we all felt it in our own homes, Father, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, for everything that she poured out on tonight, Father God. We thank you, Lord for restoring her, Father God, from her ruins, Father God. And everybody, under the sound of my voice, Father, you've restored each and every one of us, Father God. Yes, Father. And Father, we know that if we need it, you'll do it again, Father, in the name of Jesus. So we just thank you, Lord. We just ask, Father God, that whatever we do, Lord, it's pleasing in your sight, Father, in the name of Jesus. And when we're wrong, Father God, we ask that you just chastise us, Father God, because we want to be right with you. And we yes. want to shine you. Like Father God, when we walk, we want your light to shine. So we thank you, God, 
for tonight, for everything that everyone received on tonight in their own personal way, Father God. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We ask you to restore to Elder Regina everything that she poured out on tonight. Yes. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. 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 I just sent her a text. Yes. My God, today. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Here. So, I just want to say one thing. Yes. I think, you know, Reg Elder Regina did, wasn't just a spark. She was a bonfire. She, yeah. was, she sparked something in all of us. And I, that, yes. that's, what, that's what the Lord wants. He wants us to be alive yeah. and passionate. So I just, had to, I just saw that when yes. we were praying. Thank so. you. Man. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise you, God. Yeah. Yeah. California fires, all it took was a little spark. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. A little spark, follow with the wind, and that's where it all, it was all him, not me. Amen. Amen. Get the glory. Amen. He's got to get the glory. Yes. That's we right. Thank God. We yes, thank that's God. It. We thank Him for His willing vessel. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 It's our husband's birthday, so they have to. Yes. Finish. Oh, happy birthday! <laughs> oh, happy birthday! Thank you, thank you. They're wishing you happy birthday, Dad. Uh, Tell them, we would, tell them we would sing happy birthday, but we don't have all our sopranos tonight, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All of us are all right. Yeah, we're all out. <laughs> we love yeah. you all. Thank you Enjoy all. the love baby. You. Happy birthday, Minister David, and you all, see you all uh, tomorrow night, some of you, and Sunday yeah. morning. All right. Okay. All right. Good, night, Good night, everyone. Love you. Bye. Okay. Love, love you guys. You. All right. Night. Good night.